Hello, Manchester City fans. We are back with another video. Please make sure you like, comment and subscribe. We are here to talk about City's new signing, Jeremy Doku. Extremely exciting, a lot of fun. And we're going to get into a few things that you guys maybe don't know about the Belgian winger. So as we all have, have probably understood so far he's an absolute machine at dribbling um a freak of nature when it comes to his combination play with central midfielders and midfielders just giving him the one two and go he really is a fantastic player caught in the world cup and the euros already at such a such a young age and he's caught the the eye of many top coaches huge huge teams obviously in world football have taken interest in jeremy doku for one reason and one reason only that he's absolutely lightning quick and he's going to cause any defense in world football some serious problems real madrid Chelsea, Manchester United, Barcelona, all the top clubs notoriously in world football have been after the signature of Jeremy Doku over the past two years. But Manchester City have managed to get his signature. He's one of Pep Guardiola's top priorities this summer and City have been tracking him a while. Their football recruitment team have definitely been looking at Doku and what he can bring to this City side. We know that Lucas Paquita was one of City's targets. That's obviously on hold, but Doku was obviously one of the major targets as well. And it's very, very interesting to see how he is actually going to fit in this Man City team and who does he actually replicate in terms of the wingers that City have had recently. On that note, not many. Really, when you look at Doku and his productivity on either the right or the left, which is fantastic, the versatility of the Belgian makes it much easier for Pep Guardiola to fit him into this Manchester City starting 11. Now, when I look at Doku, I think immediately Raheem Sterling. But when I look at Doku, I also think much more physically imposing. Athleticism is probably on a different level to Raheem Sterling. And when I look at his adaptation, period to the Premier League, I think to myself, it's going to be absolutely seamless. He's got all those attributes that you say, oh, will that individual be able to live with life in the Premier League because of X, Y, and Z? Doku has all of those attributes at such a young age already. As I've mentioned earlier on, the combination have been, been an absolute machine at dribbling, which we'll get onto the stats in just a little bit, but also that added benefit for Man City that he can play on either side and has done for Ren, he has done for Belgium. That makes it so much easier for Pep Guardiola to be able to fit him into this side. Obviously, Man City have had Grealish out there for such a long period of time now on that left-hand side. There's obviously been complications with the move of Raheem Sterling away from Manchester City. There's been Foden out there. There hasn't really been a set position on the opposing side to Jack Grealish. Now, with someone like Jeremy Doku, you are expecting him not only to just feature but to light up the Premier League in terms of those attributes that he can bring to this Man City side it's going to be very different and I want to talk about one individual who this could really benefit Erling Haaland what do this Manchester City side consistently want to do it is the running down the, the the flanks and it's the cutback the cutback the cutback the cutback is essential for a Pep Guardiola side the overlaps and um, the underlaps or, or or whatever you want to call it are absolutely key in this Manchester City setup so Cal Walker as we've seen earlier on this season has been facilitating that role on the right hand side not just in a right back position but in a right wing position as well now that does need to change it's been great for Pep Guardiola to use this because a lot of teams including Newcastle last week didn't know what was going on Cal Walker right hand side what on earth but his pace is the reason that Pep Guardiola has him there now if Doku is to play for example on that right hand side you have a right hand side of Jeremy Doku and Cal Walker which would break any speedometer you know maybe they should go against Lamborghini's test cars to see who is going to be the faster because these two are absolutely rapid we know with Kyle Walker but Jeremy Doku I urge every single Man City fan to go online and look at this guy's speed and why is that important well it's important with the Premier League because the Premier League is so fast it's so quick and defenders are actually extremely good at defending against pace you know you look at the fullbacks in this division we've got some of the best fullbacks in the world in the Premier League and they have to come up against the best players in each team which are the wingers week in week out at whatever level in the Premier League so when Jeremy Doku comes to the table he's going to have to adapt to that because obviously Liga is a fantastic division but when it comes to fullbacks there's nowhere near fullbacks on the same level as in the Premier League so that's what he's going to have to adapt to but I'm just not sure that the fullbacks in this division are going to be used to this guy's pace and when you've got Doku and Walker on that right hand side as I say it's a throwback to maybe Raheem Sterling and Kyle Walker 
but it is going to be absolutely frightening for them to deal with because I still feel Doku is on another level when it comes to pace and pace absolutely terrifies defenders. And the beauty about that is if he is able to play on either side, you could get them into Jack Grealish and him interchanging, which if Doku has terrorized the right hand side or, or the opposition's left back, he can then move to the other side and that can be a little bit of a way of City grinding down opposition because we know Jack Grealish isn't about that. It's about retaining possession, which is something that Jeremy Doku has in his arsenal. His vision, his awareness, his ability on the ball is very, very good. But someone like Jack Grealish has that ability to maybe change gears a little bit and keep the ball moving and ticking. And that's something Jeremy Doku is going to have to adapt to because Pep Guardiola, as we all know, his entire philosophy is about breaking teams down, passing them to death. So that is something that's going to have to come into Doku's arsenal. But the ability to change either side is going to be fantastic throughout a game when you're watching Doku and potentially Jack Grealish or Foden, whoever's going to be playing on those sides, because that is where you wear opposition down. And, and if City are able to move the ball in the middle, they're able to really break the central part of the space down and then get it out wide to either one of those two. The opposition are in massive trouble. So last season, he had more successful dribbles combined than Jack Grealish and Riyad Mahrez. He had more goals than Mahrez and Grealish. He got six, those two got five each and more dribbles per game as well with three 0.3 as opposed to Grealish at 1.8 and Mares at 1.9. So we know when we watch Jeremy Doku, it's going to be a lot of fun and Man City's attack is going to get some serious, serious boost. And as I mentioned yesterday um, on the other video that we did, and I've mentioned earlier on, the cutbacks are going to be absolutely key. Why are the cutbacks going to be key? We'll get onto that just now. Erling Haaland, 52 goals last season. We know what he's like, the robot. There's, there's there's, so many superlatives to describe Erling Haaland. We all know that. But if, if City are playing with this overlap strategy, which is going to happen, Doku and Walker being part of that right-hand side, let's say hypothetically, these cutbacks are going to be constant for Erling Haaland. If he positions himself, and we know his awareness is unbelievable in and around that 18-yard box, if he positions himself on that penalty spot every single time and Doku and Kyle Walker are running on that right-hand side, you, you, he's going to score a hat from all this season because we know with Erling, his finishing is unbelievable, but those two are going to put it on a plate for him. Another cool fact about Jeremy Doku when you're looking away from the playing style is he played with Vincent Company at Anderlecht. He made his debut at 16. Maybe him and Vincent Company had a little bit of a discussion before he came to Manchester City, signed for Manchester City, and I presume they did. And that's a nice little connection, nice little City connection in the Belgium connection. I think I'm, I'm immediately looking at him when it comes to what he's like on the ball and it, what he's like off the ball, Jeremy Doku. And I'm thinking Vinicius Junior. He has limitless potential. And when you're looking at out and out pace, Doku, Mbappe, and Vinicius Junior are those players that you just you really really struggle to deal with. Really really struggle to deal with any fullback, any team struggles. And if he's as good as maybe Vinicius Junior and, and Mbappe at finishing at some points, and he's as good as them on the ball, which he definitely has potential. When you look at Pep Guardiola and the elevation that Doku can have, this is going to be scary because he's got everything else when it comes to natural ability in his in his locker, natural pace, natural athleticism. This is going to be a signing for Manchester City, which we're talking about in 10 years' time as one of the as, as one of the greatest signings of all time. And I know I'm talking him up here, but I'm talking potential. This guy has absolutely limitless potential, which is huge. And guys, ultimately, I want to finish it on this as well. He's going to be bags of fun. He's going to get you off your seat, wherever you're watching. If it's the Etihad, if it's an away game, if it's on your couch at home, he's going to get you off your seat because he's bags full of fun. When you've got a player who wants to take an opposition fullback or an opposition defender, an opposition midfielder on, it's a it's, it's brilliant, isn't it? It's what we all watch football for, absolute entertainment. And Jeremy Doku is going to be that in abundance. Guys, it's been Connor here, your multimedia and YouTube host for the Manchester City Manchester Evening News page. Please make sure you're checking out everything with regards to City on the MEN page that we have now live every single day. We've got blogs, we've got articles, we've got stuff on Jeremy Doku. And please make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Make sure you listen to Talking City over on Apple Podcasts or Spotify Podcasts or whatever your favourite podcast provider is. We've got so many different podcasts, different YouTube shows and obviously different articles on the site. Make sure you do that, guys. Link will be in the description below. Thank you so much for following our page and we'll see you in the next one.